I'm not gonna bother with the first two. I'm okay with those. Five and negative two, are you happy? Yeah. Yes, look okay to me. Uh, find x if, now this one's slightly trickier. You don't just put a number in. If f of x equals seven, then that's this thing on the left hand side, you see that? So that's why Brian, Brian? That's why Brian wrote two x minus one, that's f of x, is seven. And then off he goes, he solves, okay? Now these two here, um, Arian asked me a question before, which is a good question for all of us. Why did I suddenly change the wording of the question? Why didn't I just say, as I did earlier, evaluate? Any suggestions why I didn't use that word? It has to do with um, the word itself. Ari, what do you think? Yeah, so evaluate has to do with a final answer because the word itself says what it's doing. Tell me the value. So a value is something like 11 or five, right? This is not a value. It's not a value. It's got, it's got variables in it, programmers. It's an expression, right? 2x plus 1, 6a minus 1. Are you happy with those? Thumbs up? Okay, well done. Now here's what I want you to do. In Desmos, so I'm going to move this for a second. Is it looking okay? You can see it? So what have we created? 2x minus 1. You tell me, have a look at it. What kind of object is this? It's a straight line. What can you tell me about that straight line? There are two things. Number one, it's, uh, I'll, I suppose you could talk about the x-intercept, but a more obvious thing is the, is the y-intercept, which is negative one. There it is right there. And then what does that two do? What's that about? It's gradient. So you see it's quite steep. In fact, if you look at a point like, say, here, right, if you go across one unit, sure enough, you go up two. That's what the gradient two means. All good? Okay. Now, what I want to have a look at is this one down here. See this one? We put in x plus 1 everywhere inside, and then we got this. So I want you to also write down, or type rather, this guy here. If I go f of x plus 1, OK? Now, I haven't evaluated it, but I want you to actually see what is going on. Do I need to close the blinds? Do I really? Come on, guys. They get to watch it, but I want you to focus. I want you to focus, OK? Now, I want you to look at the red and blue lines. Look carefully and tell me what is going on. Do you remember when we were doing inverse functions the other day, right? When we were doing inverse functions, we said, oh, it's about a reflection. Do you remember that? What kind of reflection was it? It was a very specific kind of, you had to turn your head. Do you remember? It was, it was, yeah, it was sort of 45 degrees, right? So if I gave you a function like, say, the exponential, Right? I had to put an extra line in here to reflect across. Which line was it? Y equals X. Nailed it. Okay. So there's our Y equals X line. Now do, you, do the turn, right? Put your head over and then I'll know you're ready. <laughs> other way, Ryan. Other way. Uh, you do your reflection across there. Do you see the symmetry? You see it, right? There it is. Okay. So there was a geometric meaning to the inverse and there's a geometric meaning to this. Tell me. How do I get from the red line, watch carefully, watch my hand, watch my hand, watch my hand. How do I get from the red line to the blue line? What has changed? I've, I've slid, I've moved, I've shifted or translated. Now, this is a bit tricky. I've actually moved a couple of different ways and I'll show you an example of this that makes it a bit more obvious. You can either say I've moved two units upwards. Do you see that? Every point here, you can point to a spot two units above, and there you are on the blue line. Or alternatively, instead of up and down, you can think about left and right. How far have I moved left and right? And which way, left or right? Look carefully. Let me zoom in a little bit closer for you. Can you see? How far have I moved? I've moved one unit. See how this is, um, this is plus a half? This is negative a half. Uh, is that okay? So from here to here, one unit. Are you okay with me? No. Honestly, or are you just messing with me? <laughs> okay, all right. So think about this with me. I will give you another example. And you can put this, in fact, or you can do this the same thing with me, right? See that 2x minus 1? I want you to change it. I will show you exactly how. I want you to take away the 2, like that, just delete it. And then next to the x, I want you to, down the bottom, if you see next to x and y, 
There's a button that says A squared. Do you see that button? Go ahead and click it for me. Okay. So now what have we done? We're still exploring the same idea. We've still got a function, and then we've got an f of x plus 1 that we're putting into it. Okay? Notice the order. We started with red, and then we go to blue. I'm going to ask you again. How do I get from the red graph, which is what kind of shape are we in? What is this? It's a parabola. How do I get from the red parabola, parabola, from the red parabola to the blue one? What's the change? I've translated. Now you can see them more clearly, can't you? I've got one unit to the left. See these ones? Uh, one has gone to zero. Negative one has gone to negative two. You see it now? Yes. Okay. So tell me what you think that means. All right. So you can see what are we playing around here with? And the great thing about this is. You don't need me to help you now. You can fiddle with this yourself. Okay? Put any function you like in there. Okay? In fact, I'm going to ask you, what, what function would you like me to put? A cube? There you go. Okay? You can put any function you like in there. And if what you do is say, all right, let's change the function. Let's put x plus 1 in there instead of x's. Right? Then what happens is you move one unit to the left. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, please note this, please note this, and this is a really important point, so just look up from your laptops for a second. Because it is, every time we teach a topic, we know that there's particular errors that students always make all the time. Okay. So I want to point this out to you. Not a trick question. On the Cartesian plane, when you see plus one, what direction does that usually send you? Now, I'm getting different answers because it depends on what kind of plus one it is, right? So for example, if I said to you, here's a coordinate, uh, one, one, and I said, add one to that, well then you'd go over to two, one, wouldn't you? You'd go to the right, okay? But this plus one is sending you in the other direction. Do you see that? It's gone to the left, which is the reverse of this thing. So now, if you take your f of x plus one, and if you delete it, uh, or at least delete the plus one, right? I'm not going to type it yet, I want you to make a prediction first. If I were to put in something like, say, x minus 3, what would you predict happens? Let's see if you're right. There it is. So you can see the original which was in red, and the new version which is in blue, it's been translated in the right direction. Okay, are you with me? You following? Okay, now I'll lead you to have a think about what if you change not just the plus or minus? What if you change this number at the front? Hmm. It's a class. It's a class. Okay. Have a look. You can do it with me. That's the greatest thing about this um, about Desmos. You can just play. Okay. You know what happens if I go x plus whatever, x minus whatever. What do you predict will happen if I go say two x? Have a think about it. Hmm. Let's find out. If I put in a 2, what's it done? It's gone steeper. Do you notice that? Let me change the original function. Let's make it something like that. Okay. So, look, same version, but steeper, right? Or another way you could say it is, I don't really want to close the blinds, but you guys can concentrate, right? You can, yeah? I'm actually going to suggest that making it steeper is a vertical thing, right? But a better way to think about it is about horizontally. Can you see why? What number are we changing? What number are we mucking around with? Now look carefully, look carefully. It's the x, right? That's why when you did this, it moved one unit to the which way? Left, because it's left and right. X's are about the horizontal, right? So they move left and right. When I put this 2 in here, again it's doing something to the horizontal. It's it's squashing it, right? It's compressing it. So for example, if I change the 2x into, let's go, divided by 3. What do you predict will happen? It'll become wider. It'll become wider. You see it? Right? So you can have a play with this and you can experiment. 